Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the Pika Tracer activity a skills integration challenge. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you like to get my future uploading video info into our Gmail, you can subscribe this channel right now. Well, coming back to our Pika Tracer activity, here we can see our addressing table. Also, uh, we can see VLANs and port assignments table. Uh, in this activity, we are going to configure VLANs, trunking, port security and SSH or remote access on a switch. Then also we will implement inter-VLAN routing, DHCP, RIPv2, default routing and NAT on a router. And finally, we will uh, use our documentation to verify your implementation by testing end-to-end connectivity. Here we can see this packet tracer activity we had seen uh, in uh, another uh, activity already. Same configuration almost here we are going to do. Uh, here we can see only these uh, uh, devices uh, also IP addresses are changed. Also here we can see uh, the given addressing table also this uh, VLAN and port assignments table is fully filled. Coming to our implementation. Note all devices in the topology except HQ, HQ-SW and staff are fully configured. You do not have access to other routers. You can access all the servers and PCs for testing purposes. So implement to following requirements using your documentation. Here we can see the device HQ-SW uh, requirements. Configure a remote management access including IP addressing and SSH. Domain is Cisco.com. User is admin with the password let me in. Crypto key length of 1024. SSH version 2 limited to 2 authentication attempts and a 60 second timed out. Clear text password should be encrypted. We will do this first in this uh, device HQ-SW. Here we can see that it's a switch. Coming to our addressing table, here we can see the device HQ-SW and here we can see the virtual interface VLAN 60. We have to assign this IP address 10.10.10.146. Also, we can see the subnet mask and the default gateway. Coming to HQ-SW. Enable configure terminal. We have to go to the interface VLAN 60. Here we are going to set the IP address. Here is the address. Now we have to give the subnet to mask 255.255.255.240. No shut command. Also, we have to set IP default gateway. Here is that. We'll copy this address. Now we are going to configure SSH. Before that, we have to set the IP domain name as specified Cisco.com. Crypto key generate RSA. Here we have to give a 1024. Now we are going to create the user name as specified. Here we can see that admin and password let me in right so here we are going to give IP SSH version 2 IP SSH authentication retries uh, as specified to also IP SSH time out 60 seconds now we have to go to line VTY 0 to 15 login local transport input SSH now we are going to encrypt all clear text passwords We have the command of service password encryption. 
now we are going to configure name and assign vlans ports should be manually configured as access ports also configure trunking here we can see our vlans and uh, uh, port assignments table uh, vlan number and a name 15 uh, servers 30 pcs uh, 45 native and uh, 60 management coming to the configuration vlan 15 name as uh, servers vlan 30 name as pcs vlan 45 name as uh, native VLAN 60 name as uh, management here we can see port assignments uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 11 till 0 slash 20 uh, VLAN 15 also fast ethernet 0 slash 1 till 0 slash 10 is uh, VLAN 30 coming to the configuration we will go to a range of uh, interfaces uh, fast ethernet 0 slash uh, 1 till 10 we will give the mode as access switch port access uh, vlan here is a uh, 30 now we will go to the interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 11 till 20 switch port mode as access switch port access vlan 15 here we can see the port the gigabit third zero slash one uh, is a native vlan uh, here we can see the vlan number 45 coming to our topology here we can see that interface gigabit third zero slash one uh, which is connecting to uh, this uh, router uh, hq uh, to the interface gigabit third zero slash zero Hence, we are going to configure uh, this interface uh, mode as uh, trunking. Coming to the configuration, we have to go to that interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Here, the mode as trunk, also switch port trunk native VLAN 45. Coming to the next implementation, implement port security. On fast ethernet 0 slash 1, allow two MAC addresses that are automatically added to the configuration file when detected. The port should not be disabled, but a syslog message should be captured if a violation occurs. Then disable all other unused ports. Coming to the configuration, we have to go to that interface uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 1 switch port uh, port security switch port uh, port security maximum as uh, specified to switch port uh, port security mac address uh, sticky now we have to set the violation switch port port security violation or restrict now we are going to disable all unused ports here we can give show VLAN brief and we can see all the used ports here we can see uh, in this uh, VLAN 1 uh, the ports from fast ethernet 0 slash 1 till 0 slash 24 also we can see um, here are two uh, interfaces gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 here this interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 we used as uh, chunking so we have to uh, set uh, this gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 as unused also these ports right we will do that coming to the configuration configure terminal we have to go to those interfaces as range fast ethernet 0 slash 21 till 24 also we have one gigabit ethernet gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 we are going to shut down it here we can see the details 
0 slash 21, 0 slash 22, 0 slash 23, 0 slash 24, and 1 gigabit the third 0 slash 2. So administratively down. Configure VTY lines to be accessible via SSH only. Yes, we have done in the beginning itself while configuring uh, this SSH. Coming to the next device that is HQ. Configure inter VLAN routing. So we will do this first. Coming to our addressing table, uh, here we can see the sub interfaces of Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0, uh, their IP address and the subnet to mask. Gigabit Ethernet 0, uh, 0 slash 0 0.15, 0, 0 slash uh, 0 0.30, 0 0.45, and 0 0.60. Coming to the router HQ. Enable configure terminal interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 15 encapsulation dot 1q15 and here is the IP address and this subnet to mask 255.255.255.224 coming to the next sub interface that is uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 30. We will assign the IP address. Before that, we will give uh, encapsulation dot 1q30. And here we are going to set the IP address. It's a 10.10.10.193. This submit to mask 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 1.9.2. Coming to the next sub interface, interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 45, encapsulation dot 1q45. Also, we are going to make this as native VLAN uh, by giving the command native. Also, we have to set the IP address. So, here is the address and the submit to mask 255.255.255.240. Coming to the last sub interface, interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 60, encapsulation dot 1q60, IP address, so here is the address, and this subnet to mask 255.255.255.240. Coming to the topology, here we can see this interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Uh, this link is down, so we have to make this link up. We have to, so that all the sub interface also will be up, right? So we will go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and we will give a no shut command. Here we can see all the sub interface are up now. 0 0.30, 0 0.45, 0 0.60. Coming to the next implementation, configure DHCP services for VLAN 30. Use LAN as the case sensitive name for the pool. Right, coming to our addressing table, uh, I mean uh, VLANs and port assignments table, here we can see VLAN 30 and its network address so 10.10.10.192. Also, we have to set a default router. Uh, here we can see uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 30. Uh, its IP address is 10.10.10.193. So this IP address we are going to set as a default router uh, for our uh, DHCP. Coming to the configuration. IP DHCP pool name a specified LAN. Here we are going to give the network. That is 10.10.10.192. Also, the network mask that is 255.255.255.192. Also, we have to set the default router address. It's 10.10.10.193. Coming to the next implementation implement routing. Use RIP version 2 
disable automatic summarization, configure one network statement for the entire 10.0.0.0 slash 8 address space, configure a default route to the internet. Coming to the configuration, router RIP, here the version 2, and we have to give a no auto summary. Also, uh, we have to give the network a specified a summarized network. Uh, 10 dot, 10 dot, oops, it's a 10 dot, uh, 0 dot, 0 dot, 0. Uh, before coming to a default route, coming to a topology, here we can see from HQ uh, to this uh, internet. Here we can see the exit interface uh, for this uh, uh, router HQ. Here we can see that serial 0 slash 1 slash 0. Coming to the configuration, here we are going to give IP root 0.0.0.0 .0 space 0.0.0.0 .0 space. We have to give the exit interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0. Coming to the next implementation, implement NAT. Configure a standard one statement ACL number one. All IP addresses belonging to the 10.0.0.0 uh, slash 8 address space are allowed. Coming to the configuration, access list, a specified number one. We have to permit 10.0.0.0 and the wildcard bits. So there we have seen uh, the prefix length the slash 8. Uh, so the while the guard bits uh, is 0 0.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
coming to the configuration first of all we will go to the interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 this is the IP NAT outside now we'll go to the interface the serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 IP NAT inside next interface the serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 IP NAT inside also we will go to the sub interface interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 15 IP NAT inside also we will go to the sub interface 0 slash 0 dot 30 IP NAT inside coming to the last implementation staff verify staff has received full addressing information from HQ coming to our topology here we can see the device staff coming to staff desktop IP configuration here we are going to give a DHCP requesting IP address yes we received the IP address submit to mask also default gateway here we can see the details coming to verification all devices should now be able to ping all other devices if not troubleshoot your configurations to isolate and solve problems a few tests include uh, verify remote access to hq-sw by using ssh from a pc first of all we will get the ip address of hq-sw here is that we'll try from sales desktop command prompt here we are going to give ssh hyphen l then the target admin not the target it's a, a username right and now we have to give the target here is that yes it's prompted for a password password is let me in we can see now we are in hq hyphen sw uh, we able to access this switch with the help of ssh service next is verify vlans are assigned to appropriate ports and port security is in force also verify ospf neighbors this is not ospf actually here we have done uh, rip all right so we can check a routing table well we will do that coming to our switch here we are going to give the command show uh, vlan brief so that we can see vlan details here we can see all the interfaces all the ports are assigned to uh, the correct vlan also we will check the port security show port security uh, interface uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 1 here we can see the details uh, port security is uh, enabled maximum mac addresses uh, 2 total mac address uh, length 1 uh, sticky mac address 1 security violation count 0 now coming to the router hq here we are going to give a show IP route and here we can see uh, the path uh, length using the protocol RIP also we can see default route next is a verify NAT translations and statics outside the host should be able to access a file server at the public address inside the PC should be able to access the web server here we can see our file server and uh, uh, public IP address 198.133.219.130 we will access this file server from this uh, PC sales sales 1 desktop command prompt here we are going to give FTP and the public IP address of that FTP server here it's prompted for username Cisco password Cisco here we can see we able to access FTP service now we will try to access this web server from this uh, PC staff uh, here we can see the IP address of this web server 64.100.150.10 coming to staff system desktop web browser 
here we are going to give the IP address as URL here we can see we are getting the web page now we will verify the NAT translations coming to HQ CLI enable show NAT we have its IP NAT translations and to here we can see the details here is inside local here we can see the private address here we can see we access the FTP here we can see the port number 21 also we access to a web page uh, here is the port number 80 Well, that's all in this packet tracer activity skills integration challenge. Uh, friends, here we can see the completion status uh, 70 out of 70. Uh, friends, if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into our Gmail. Thank you.